Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Metastellar YouTube channel. My name is Maria Korolov. I am the editor of Metastellar. And I have been designing websites for probably 20 years now. And before that, I worked at, on newspapers and magazines doing graphic layout uh, on the print side. So I've done these for work. I've done these for friends. I've done these for myself. And a couple of weeks ago, I looked at all, all the top author websites, what the cool websites are doing, because I wanted to create a new website for my own books. And so the first thing you do is you find out what the latest trends are. So that I don't have a website that look, so I don't have a website that looks dated. That looks like it was made the last time I made a website from scratch. And it turns out that things have changed in the last couple of years dramatically. Uh, and as part of this whole process, I've learned how to use all the latest WordPress tools. And I've kind of been experimenting with them a little bit, but I went all in these past couple of weeks. And what I found out is that the advice I gave to friends and relatives a couple of years ago about how to set up a free or low cost website no longer applies. The tools that are available out there today are amazing. They're easy uh, and they're super functional. So why don't I give you some idea of what it is I'm going for before I start the tutorial. And in the tutorial, I'm literally gonna set up a website from beginning to end that looks like one of those high-end thousands of dollars author websites for free using tools that everybody has no charge at all whatsoever. Um, so let me give you the, the, some ideas of, of where we are going to, where we're gonna be starting out. So I did an article uh, five things the best author websites of 2021 have in common. And I looked through about 50, I went and I looked through a few hundred websites and I picked out like 50 that really exemplify current design trends and that looked like they were recently updated. Uh, for example, Pierce's Brown website looks cool and modern. They, it's got the white panels, it's, it's high contrast, it's colorful. Ilona Andrews, has a similar kind of thing. She's got a little sticky header there. Um, uh, lots of bright colors. Again, horizontal panels. James S. Corey, similar kind of thing with his website. Um, bright colors, black and white for the exterior framing of the website, like the header and the footer. Lots of colors on the inside, horizontal panels with cool background images. Um, and you know, funky effects of all kinds. Uh, James Patterson, same thing, big horizontal panels, bright colors. And he also has a little sticky header floating around up there um, that sticks to the, the page. And he's got a little slider here, look at that. And the awesome thing about all these websites is that if you shrink the window down, the website will rearrange itself to fit. So the website will fit on any mobile device or tablet or any screen size automatically. And this stuff used to be really, really hard to do. And now it's all available just right from the get-go on the latest themes and platforms. So the platform that all these sites use and like 99% of the, all the top authors use and all the top publishers use is WordPress. WordPress is like 66% of all the internet content management systems right now. Uh, the rest is stuff that corporations build by themselves and you know they spend millions for it uh, or that are old school HTML hand-coded websites that are left over from, uh, from the 90s and like, in the single digits, there's things like Squarespace and Wix and everybody else down in there. I mean, they're not even a blip on the statistics. Everybody uses WordPress. It's like water or air. 
and WordPress is just so good, it doesn't have to advertise because it's fantastic. And you may have heard that maybe it's WordPress is hard to use and these other websites builders are easier. And well, let's find out. I am going to build a website from scratch um, in real time today, uh, crossing my fingers uh, that this works. So first I'm going to wordpress.com and I am going to, uh, and the link is going to be below. It's wordpress.com slash start slash domains. And I'm going to type in Inzy Writer Jones, which is the name that I want. And I'm going to scroll down to the free option. So yeah, WordPress wants you to pay money. So they're going to throw in a free domain name if you choose hosting. Hosting starts at like four bucks a month. It's not bad. I mean, uh, and with host with the paid hosting, there's you don't get the WordPress ads on there, and you get a little bit more functionality, a few more fonts, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip all that. I'm gonna go with totally free. I'm gonna select the free one right here, and yeah, look look at it again. It still wants me to do that. No, I'm gonna start with a free site. Look, they hide it. I'm gonna start with a free site. And it's building my site. And I have a website. I mean, really, I have a website. Now let's let's look to see what it, what actually the site looks like right now. So this is what the basic site looks like. So it's it's actually not bad as it is. It's got the panels and you know that stuff. But no, we're gonna make it look like the fancy, fancy, schmancy author websites that I picked from. So we're gonna name your site. It's gonna be, okay. Indy Writer Jones. I'm gonna skip the tagline. It's gonna be indywriterjones.wordpress.com. It's gonna be in English. Um, I'm gonna launch the website. Cancel the why is it bombs me? Save some changes. All done. Save settings. All right. And we're going to launch the site. What? Skip purchase. Ah, free site. <laughs> Oh, come on, WordPress. <laughs> it already put it up. So why is it making me go through that again? All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm on the main page. So, so let, let me take you through my setup. Again, this is real, real time. You can time it if you want. I think we started around 530. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is go to appearance, themes. Okay, and we're gonna search for rock field and we're gonna pick the rock field theme. We're gonna activate this free rock field theme and we're gonna activate it. You're gonna just switch the theme, preserving my content. I don't have any, but it's a good practice to have. And I'm gonna activate rock field. So let's go back to editing. So this is what my website has changed to now. So it looks a little bit different, not much. But if you notice, there's now a little banner up top that stays in place. So that's why I picked, <laughs> I picked Rockfield. All right, so let's go and go through and do all my stuff. So first of all, I'm gonna upload my media. So here it is media, I'm gonna add new and author website, indie writer. These are all the pictures I've created ahead of time to go with, oops, to go with my site. Um, and they're uploading. This, if, if you wanna know how I made the pictures, I went through it uh, in the last installment of the tutorial, the website tutorial, where I went through where I got the pictures, how I made them, including how I made all these book covers. So I've got that up there. 
So now I'm uploading all of them. Here they are, they're coming in. Wow, this is taking time. All right, so while it's doing that, I'm gonna add some new pages. So that's my second step on there. So the first page that I'm gonna add is going to be a blank page called um, About. And I have some content already, already uh, put up there. About. So here's the title. About the writer Jones. And you can transform it to a heading, see? And you can add, um, let's add an image here, image, select image from a media library. And I'm gonna select my image, insert. All right, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make this image, line left. Look at that, look at that. All right, I'm gonna make this image a little smaller. Look, look how easy that was. Look how easy that was. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to save this image. So I'm gonna go to page, uh, there's the, pop, uh, oh, I'm gonna add a featured image to it. Okay, hold fe featured image. I'm gonna set a featured image and I'm gonna pick the same featured image. Oh, or I can use, you know, a different one. Um, I have all these images to pick from. So I'm gonna publish this page. Yes, publish. And I can look at this page and see what it looks like. Okay, about, uh, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna add another page. Uh, pages, I'm gonna add new page. And I am going to add, what's next to my list? Contact. I'm gonna add a blank page, make it a contact page. And I'm gonna copy the contact information. And I'm gonna add a little featured image here, page featured image. And I'm gonna select a fit featured image from Pexel Free Photos. And I'm gonna pick a telephone, and search. And these are all totally free images that anybody can use, including commercially on their website. So now there's a little um, featured image there for it. Indy Writer Jones, and that's a fake email address. Um, you don't have to give your own email address. You can put your, if you have an agent, you can put their contact information in there. Um, you could put in a contact form, but in my experience, the forms are always breaking. Uh, so I'm just, everybody already has my email address anyway. The spammers all have it. I'm using Gmail, so it filters out most of the spam anyway. Uh, you can set up a brand new email address just for you know your author website so it doesn't get confused with your regular work or home emails. Um, you can also add a PO box here or you know, directions to your house where you hide the spare key. Well, what, whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to put on there. And I'm going to publish this. All right, I'm, I'm going to publish it. All right. All right, and I'm going to add another new page. I'm going to add a page called testimonials. Blank page, testimonials put all these wonderful testimonials on there that I wrote ahead of time. All right. And I'm gonna make a little featured image for it. Featured image from free photos, people talking. I wanna use this one, why not? Select, and that's gonna be my featured image. And I'm gonna publish this, publish. 
And I'm going to add one more page. Add new page. Um, reviews. Blank page. Reviews. And these are all the reviews that I've gotten, though that Indie Writer Jones has gotten. I mean, she paid for them. You know, they're all from like, we sell reviews and stuff like that. Um, but uh, there she is. We can, we can make these, uh, add a little bit of formatting here. Like that, if we wanted to. Well, to tell it. Well, you, you know, you know how that works. It's the, it's the, once you get the, once you get the uh, cursor where you want it to be, it's pretty straightforward, like all the other ones. Um, and I'm going to page set featured image, pixels, books. I have a little image with books in it. Why not use this one? All right. And I'm gonna publish this one. Okay, now the next thing that we're gonna have is I'm gonna have a page for my books because I'm a book author. So I'm gonna add a blank page. I'm gonna call it books. Um, and here I'm going to add an image, select image from the media library, media library. I'm going to have my row of books here. I'm not going to bother to add, I'm going to let me put in the center. Okay. I'm going to publish this. Oops. No, cancel, set featured image, media library. Where are my books? There's my books, featured image. I'm gonna publish this, publish. And then I am going to add sub pages under that page. So I have, um, so like the tattered newspaper, I'm gonna add that. I'm not gonna add all of them um, because I'm just gonna add enough so you can see how to do all this. I mean, it's all like fake content anyway. And then this is, this is supposed to be like an excerpt from the book to give people an idea of what it looks like. In here, I'm gonna add Come on, come on, stupid WordPress. There we go. Add insert before. There it goes. Insert image. Select image. Media library. Where's the tattered tattered newspaper? Select, and I'm going to make it to the left. All right, so there's, make it a little smaller. Look at that, look at that. And I'm also gonna make it into my featured image. So there it is, set featured image. All right, okay. So I'm gonna publish this, publish. Oh, I should have made, uh, okay. Um, one thing I want to do is page attributes, parent page is books. Let's see, update that so that it it's becomes like a sub menu under books. Uh, then we're going to add some, uh, uh, we're going to add some blog posts. The difference between a page and a blog post is that a page is permanent. It doesn't change, uh, it's, not, it's not time sensitive. So you have your biography, you've got your biography. You've got your book, you've got your book. A blog post is dated. 
it's like more like a diary entry or a news announcement. Today I made some coffee. Um, you know, today I won an award. Um, I was mentioned in a newspaper article. Here's the link to it. Uh, those those kinds of things go into blog posts. So I'm going to add some posts so that I have some posts to start with. So when I have some sample posts here, like a walk in the woods, new post, a walk in the woods, and I walked in the woods today. Okay, and I'm gonna set uh, for the post, I'm gonna create a featured image again. And I'm gonna get some woods in here, insert. That is my featured image. Okay, and I am going to publish instead of publishing immediately. I'm going to say I'm going to backdate it to August so that I have multiple different dates on my blog. So it does. So just just so you can see how you know it works with different dates. So I'm going to publish this as a blog post. And then I'm going to add a new post. And now I'm going to add uh, another another new post. Okay, not particularly excited. Exciting. Uh, again, I'm going to set a featured image for it. Here are some mountains. And I'm going to change the date on it. So instead of publish immediately, I'm going to go back to August, uh, August 13th. OK. All right. I'm going to publish it, publish. And, and I have some um, other little blog posts here. Add new post, new book release, that, and let me add a featured, let's go to post, featured image, media library. These are all the ones that I updated already, uploaded previously. I had one that I'm just going to use this one again. No, no, I see it. I want to use a different one. Remove this featured image. I'm going to want this one, the book on the table. There we go. Look at that. All right. Publish this. Oh, uh, no. Change the date on it. So it's going to be August 14. 14, I said, there we go. All right, then I'm gonna publish it. Publish it, publish it. Okay, and I'm gonna have new book release postponed. Add new post. I'm gonna add this one too, and that's, and that's enough. Um, let me add a featured image to it. Uh, this one. Okay. And I'm going to change the date on it. So it's August again, 17th. Again, it's not taking. 17. Okay. And I'm going to publish that. Publish. All right, so we can view the post here on the site if we wanted to, see? Let's go back to the home page. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's, all, all these photos are now uploaded. Okay, so we've got our main content added. Um, let's add a home page. Oh, we have a home page. Oh, good. Have a home page. Uh, we're gonna take this 
um, I'm gonna rip, what is this? It's a cover. We're going to replace it with Media Library. Uh, had, had, had a little bookshelf. There we go. Insert. And then um, we're going to remove this. Remove this. Remove this. Remove this. Remove this. And we're going to add an image. Nope. Image. Select image, media library. We're going to select this one here. Insert. We're going to make her over here. And this whole block is going to be fixed background. 300. And I'm going to show you later about how to do all that. Full width. No, full width. There we go. Update. All right. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Okay. So uh, let's go through. Um, let, let's go back to uh, my checklist of stuff to do. So, so I got my content, I got my main pages, I got my main posts. Now let's get the website to look uh, cool. So uh, we're gonna go to appearance, customize. Come on, there we go. So for site identity, I'm gonna select the logo. I'm going to select the indie writer that's white on a transparent background. Skip cropping. And now it seats indie writer up there. And we're going to take out the title and tagline. See? Fancy, huh? All right. Uh, and let me save the changes. Next, we are going to set the colors. Okay, so this is the default for for the site. And I already picked out colors last time. And I've saved the colors that I want to have. And my main accent color is going to be orange. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put it here. That's going to be my accent color for uh, you don't see it up here because I don't have anything accented yet. But um, trust me, it's going to be there soon. Okay. Next, I'm going to set uh, set the menus. Menus. So there's a primary menu. Um, automatically add new top level pages to this menu. And we're going to add some items. We're going to add books, reviews. Um, okay, we're not, we don't want a home. Books, reviews, testimonials, contact, and about. And we can move stuff around. About, come on, about con contact, books, and then we're going to add the tatter newspaper as a subsection here. And now it's gonna be underneath that menu. And I'm gonna save those changes. All right. And let's um, create new menu, social links menu, social links menu. Next, I'm gonna uh, add some items. It's gonna be custom links. 
I'm going to add add Twitter. Twitter. Add to menu. And I'm going to add Facebook. And this is where you'd actually add your um, your stuff. Uh, save changes. And it shows up here. All right. So we got our social links. We got our menus done. Uh, next, we're going to go to content options. We're going to show the featured image on pages. So when you, we go to about page, it'll show a featured image. I'm going to go to reviews. It'll show the featured image up there. If you don't like the way that looks, if you don't want featured images to show up, you can just turn it off. Save changes. Uh, we're going to skip the widgets. This is where you can do foot, footer widgets, you know, create content for your footer. So right now there's, it just says create a free website. You can put all sorts of anything you want in the footer. For homepage setting, we're going to put home as the homepage, leave this blank, and we're going to hide the homepage title. So that when we go to the home page, it doesn't say home on top. It just goes straight through to there. All right. Save changes. Okay. And let's go to font. We're going to skimp AMP. We're going to go to fonts. Open the block editor. And this is where we choose the fonts. I had Chivo and Open Sans. So come on. Go to block editor and we're going to choose the fonts. This is the global fonts, Chivo and Open Sans. And we're going to publish it. All right. And now we should have this is what the website looks like, huh? Huh? All right, so that's uh, that's the first section of the website. But look look at that! Look at that! That's not bad at all, right? Okay, now let's let's see what other people have. So they have these carousels of books and about sections and announcements, all all sorts of stuff, right? Like this kind of thing. So I'm gonna take you through adding one. Uh, block. So this is the home page. Is that the home page? Okay. Okay. All right. So let's add horizontal bar. That's just a solid color that has um, that has a book a book in it and a little description. So we're gonna select image from media library. We're gonna put one of our books there, insert. We're gonna make that into a change that to media and text. And here we're gonna put something like new book release, Twilight of the Cloud, fantastic read, order now. All right, so let's make that full width and let's give it uh, come on, let's give it color. Let's give it a background color. All right, see? Um, and for this text, let's make that a heading. Let's make this a heading, heading. Let's, and let's make this a right line to the right, this a line to the right, and 
this aligned to the right. Okay. Let's make this a smaller heading and let's make this colored gray, text color gray. Okay. And let's see what it looks like on the page. All right. There we go. There's the, uh, well, it's a little too wide. I want it to be more in the middle. So I, I can, Play with it a little bit more. So for example, I can make it narrower like that date. But now the, the orange doesn't go all the way across. I don't like that. So I am going to make this into a group. And this is where the Google Gutenberg blocks comes in. So the, the group is like a container. Think, think of Gutenberg blocks as nesting Russian dolls. You can put things inside of other things. And so the group is kind of like a big box. You can put everything in. And uh, then we have the media and text and I can get rid of the background here. And now what it looks like is like that. All right, now it, it looks a little bit uh, plain right now. Let's fiddle with this background. Go to the group, color. Um, come on, group. Let's make it cover. A cover has a background image there, but instead of having uh, a plain image, I'm gonna make it a gradient that goes from orange like that. See, like that update. Now let's see what it looks like. Ooh, okay. So the only thing that I don't like is that it takes so much, so much space. Uh, it's way too high. There we go. So you can fiddle with the settings to make it look a little better than, than what you had before. Okay. Um, now, how about that row of books? Let's put a row of books up there. Uh, I am going to make this into a, uh, a bunch of columns. So I'm gonna browse all and I am gonna put, where's my col columns in here? I'm gonna make it, how many columns do I want? Make it three columns, all right. Three columns, come on. I'm gonna add an image here. Select image, media library, one of the covers, insert. Select image, select image, media library. Um, another one of the covers. Select image, image, select image, <laughs> image. Uh, another one of the covers, all right. Um, Okay, so now you can see here, this shows you all the containers we got. So the columns is the big container, the master one. I'm gonna add a little bit more columns to this. Um, I can make the, uh, I wanna transform it to a group. Add some more images here. Select image, media library. Um, so I've got Twilight, Alien, Edge, and Behind. Let's add one more. So I've got Twilight, 
alien edge behind. Because I sworn I had another cover. I'm going to use this one. All right. So now I've got the whole group back here, full width, color. Oh, no, I don't want to. Oh, no, I want to. I want to have it um, as a cover here. I'm going to add a cover in here. So, um, oops. Add this as a cover. Cover. Select media, media library. I'm going to have a cloud background. Insert. I'm going to make it full width. Full width. I'm going to select these columns here. Copy. And I'm going to paste them in here. Okay. Now for the background. Um, fixed background. Heat 200. Opacity. Maybe a little bit gray like that. And I don't need this one now anymore. Oops. This one, this group, I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to delete. Remove this block. Update. And so I have my, my books. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, and I, I can play with the width a little bit, make them wider, make them narrower. So um, make the columns wider, full width, update. That's how it looks now. See? Fancy, huh? I want to make this one a little bigger. This one a little bigger like that. Look, look at that. See, it's see, it's not, it's not that hard. Uh, next, I'm gonna put a little blog post here, um, and I don't like the. I mean, I I could stick with a blog post that they've got, but I'm gonna add a little blog post carousel here. Carousel. Um, post carousel and it's going to have all the posts here see so and I can change the the style of it um, I'm going to change the number of items fewer items um, and the number of slides to show at once Look at that. Look, look how I can do that. An update. There we go. Oh, I don't I don't want my name and title. I mean, I want the title, but not the date or the author. And and I can change the, the style that they look at. So I can change the way the image looks. Um, I can choose specific posts or just all of my posts. And I can switch from posts to pages. So all sorts of stuff that I can do here with this. Um, and I can make it extra wide like that. I like that even better. Update. Look at that. Look at that. See? Okay. Uh, so I've shown you how to do uh, the basics of setting up the website. I'm going to have a blog post about it linked down below uh, so that you can follow the steps a little bit more carefully. Um, I'm going to delete that latest from the blog because we don't need that anymore. Um, again, let's come on. Where, where did that sidebar go? Oh, it's covered up by my, uh, here it is sidebar. So I'm going to delete the spacer, remove block, and this column, remove this block, 
and these blog posts. Remove the block. See? And this is, uh, you know, some stuff they've got. A little group that came with a default template. And I want to delete this introduce yourself post. Um, so I can, where's the, here's the edit button, see? Uh, when I'm at a post, I can edit it right there. And I am going to move to trash. Okay, let's look at our website now. Introduce yourself is gone. Look at that. Look at that website. Uh, and it took me uh, uh, less than an hour. It took me less than an hour to do this. Look at that. Look, look, look at that beautiful. Oh, I should delete the latest too. Okay, where does it say latest? Delete this. Remove block. Update. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, right. Now, notice how the Indie Writer header sticks there, even as we uh, we scroll down, just like the ones of these authors, right? Now, look at how the site resizes when I shrink it down. It rearranges everything to fit. Look at that. Look at that. We have, we have all these different backgrounds and images. Look here, this is a parallax effect that moves around. Um, we have these little carousels. It's, it's free. It's built in for free into WordPress. I mean, look, look, less than an hour to make a website that looks as good as anybody's out there for free. Okay, so you had the WordPress domain. Yeah, it's not your own. Uh, and you have some ads at the bottom. Okay, yeah, so everybody will know you're using a freebie site. But uh, pay four bucks and get rid of that. Totally fine. Not, not bad at all, right? And if you don't mind living with the ads, this is not bad at all. All right, so, um, so I'm gonna link all the resources down below for how to do this, as well as the article with everything spelled out step by step um, with the, the screenshots so that you can see where you're supposed to click. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, comment below um, or email me, uh, like, subscribe. Oh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna go through the individual blog, blog panels. And because right now I went through them very, very quickly and didn't really explain how it worked. I just did it. I mean, I guess you can like play it in slow motion so you can follow along. But uh, next time I'm gonna explain in detail how that block system works. But as you can see, once you have the hang of it, it works really, really easily, really quickly, really efficiently. I did not expect it to. I hated this when it first released. I deactivated Gutenberg blocks on all my sites because I hated it so much. But now that I've learned how to use it, I kind of love it. I want to do it on all my sites. Uh, yeah, I really, really like it. So um, if you want a website like this and want to pay somebody to do it, just send them that document you made with the content and point them to these instructions. And they should be able to do this same thing in, again, about an hour. Uh, if they charge you more than a couple hundred bucks for it, uh, they're ripping you off because this is a free theme, all free images, didn't require any, any real work at all. A little bit of fiddling to get stuff to lined up, but hardly any. If somebody's gonna take more than an hour to do this, if you have all the content ready for them, if it takes them more than an hour, they really don't know what they're doing because I am not a WordPress expert. I mean, I, I use it, but I'm not a, a developer or you know somebody who does this for a living. And it took me less than an hour to do. So if it takes you guys less than an hour, something's wrong with them. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions at all, email me, maria at metastellar.com. My email is gonna be below. 
add a comment. And if you want to see the next uh, video about this, that's, I'm going to do about the specific blocks, make sure you hit the notification button so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.